What is up, everybody? It's Super Versity Rare today, and we have to talk about Sony State of Play event yesterday. That event was straight trash. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with that event. Maybe Sony is way too cocky at the moment. I think that is what it is because I didn't see anything that was that spectacular. Like, like the only game I saw that was really amazing was Resident Evil 4. The remake, which I'm, I don't need to see any more footage for that game because I'm already going to buy that game day one. So, you know, I, I just don't know what Sony is doing. Like, why even spend time to make, spend money to even make these events? I don't know. I don't know why <laughs> they just release some trash like that. I think, hey, it's just great. But, you know, apparently somebody liked it out here because this Sony fanboy is stating that the PlayStation said play event obliterates the crap out of xbox and xbox's dumb showcase xbox are in tears right now the xbox guys are so angry when it's like are you serious <laughs> that event was so garbage it's like i'm okay let's break down what they should have the state of play event yesterday <laughs> I feel sorry if you actually spent time, you was actually excited about this event, and you spent time away that something else you could have did more important, but that event was garbage. Let's break down what they showed there. They showed some VR games, which is like, I don't care about VR. I still don't care about VR. <laughs> See, I even seen somebody play like um, footage of VR, like the Horizon, the, the, main, the um, mainline Horizon game for VR. Still didn't impress me. But they showed some VR games there. None of those games like made me want to get a VR at, at, at all. They showed um, a new Naruto game. The Naruto game looks like clutch, just like the last Naruto game. I don't know what the difference is besides add some DC, DLC characters, but try to do the same full price for this new game, which looks like the last game. So they showed that. They showed some indie games. Um, the Volcano High was like you play with some dinosaurs because it's like human the way dinosaurs. And I'm not running into that. So, I'm trying to think. What else did they show? Capcom, which pretty much carried the show for Resident Evil 4 Remake. And then Street Fighter 6, which Street Fighter 6 looks pretty good. But they announced a new character. I guess she's like T-Hulk's relative or daughter. I don't know. She's like a um, T-Hulk uh, sibling or something. I don't know. Uh, but Street Fighter 6 looks pretty good. Other than that, it's like, it's got to care about Capcom. And it's like, how are you bragging about the showcase? Where is the first party stuff at Sony? Why is Sony being so secretive with their first party content? I guess you want to include Destiny. They did like have a Destiny 2. They show some stuff for that, but I don't care about Destiny at all. So and that's what I was like, I just don't know what. I just don't see why Sony fanboys aren't calling out Sony at this point right now because their first party content since God of Ragnarok has been completely null and void, unless you want to count the VR. But it's like really fast majority of people don't care about VR, so I don't know what, 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 why are they just not releasing first party content like that? It's just, it's just strictly relying on third party content this entire year. And you got to hear from Sony fanboys that hey, PlayStation gives you such amazing first party content, that's why it's so amazing and everything. But they are not giving you first party content at all besides Spider Man 2 this entire year. Like, where is the showcase showing you the first party stuff at? Ah, uh, but I digress. This fanboy right here is a clown, in my opinion. I don't know how you think this obliterates any Xbox showcase. At least the Xbox Shadow Drop, an amazing game with Hi-Fi Rush. This was very mediocre. This was just a waste of time, in my opinion. A complete waste of time. Sony wishes they had a Shadow Drop as good as Hi-Fi Rush or Metroid Prime Remastered. I agree. Oh, and a big game I forgot. <laughs> a big game I forgot they showed. A game that I was anticipating this year was Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. That game was going to be a day one buy for me. When I previously saw that footage, I previously saw it was announced. Now that game is a... I might wait for that game to be half price or bargain bin. That game looks... I wouldn't say awful, but it looks like it looks like the typical games of the service nonsense. What they did to the, the just the Avengers game that came out, it's the same thing. So this whole games of the service, I'm not on board with this at all. <laughs> it's like Rock City made the legendary uh, Arkham Knight, Arkham Asylum, Arkham uh, Arkham uh, City games have now been reduced to making this 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 co-op shooter game. Yeah, you know, yeah. The cutscenes still look amazing. That that's the only high selling point. The cutscenes look amazing. The story like it might be good, but that gameplay and the whole like gameplay loop where you being co op, I'm not feeling that at all. So, um, Suicide Squad, 
maybe <laughs> that might be an optional like bargain bin title right there for me unless you can just get like some rave reviews i don't see that being a day one again at this at this point but yeah so that that made me even that made me even more pissed about the showcase because what i saw at the end with that suicide squad we're gonna give you an extended look and an extended look it was very disappointing it was very very bad yeah, I, I don't understand you can hate on Xbox Showcase. <laughs> we just Xbox showed you what they got coming to shit for the first party content. While Sony is just dependent on third party in this VR niche niche VR. So it's like, really? This person says, co partner Yes, both Xbox Xbox dropped High for a Rush. Nintendo even dropped Metro Prime Remastered. Sony dropped Carry On. Nothing to see here at their showcase. That... The fans have been waiting to see anything from Sony. I don't know why Sony's so secretive. They are getting way too cocky right now, and it's just embarrassing. They need to get off their high horse. They don't have... It's like they really need to get off the high horse at this point. <clears throat> Hop off the PlayStation meet. Yeah, he definitely needs to do that. The state of play was trash. I'm sure Sony fanboys are more in tears about your exclusives on my PC. Yeah, then the new one. That thing, just think, think, Retirement just went to PC as well, so every exclusive are definitely going to PC. <clears throat> Bro, I'm sure even your fellow pony saw the state of play was trash. It definitely was. <clears throat> For Sony, it was mid AF and was leaps and bound. A <laughs> Get out of here with this nonsense. Like, what? <laughs> Bro, you know they got this much. They got this much hate for Xbox. They're really saying, "Yeah, that state of play was good, or it's still better than Xbox." You are delusional. The entire state of play was dog crap. The heck are you talking about? The state of play was mid. The only new games were VR games. At least we got new games after Xbox and Nintendo presentation. Yeah, it's just insane. People are saying that this this I don't know, Sony is laughing stock right now. In my opinion, Sony <laughs> I would treat Sony as a laughing stock right now. I like, is this is this the leader of the gaming industry right now? Sony is this your king right now? And they're releasing this mid as a showcase. They got this under their official banner for Sony State of Play. That was some mid garbage trash right there. But we have a gaming journalist who talks about Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. He has the same the same pretty much thoughts part. Thoughts pattern that I have that this game looks like trash. I was hoping this new gameplay look at Suicide Squad Kill the Just League as State of Play would finally get me hyped. I was thinking the same thing too, that hopefully this will get me hyped for this game. It did not. I still don't see much in it beyond shoot slash punch anything purple. I'm hardly writing it off yet, but I remain disappointingly underwhelmed. Me exactly. This game looks very underwhelming. And this comes from the people who made the Arkham Knight trilogy. The Arkham trilogy. Like, really? Ah, this game is a service. Don't you want to play co-op with different people and see different in power-up armor and stuff like that? You pay microtransactions. It's like, what? what is this? What is this? They need to stop this nonsense. Bro, how did you go from making the Arkham trilogy to making this? It's like, really? Jeez. It reminded me of Marvel Avengers. Definitely not what I wanted. I, you know, you try to give, you try to give the the Rocksteady a break with the whole Gotham Knights because that game was a flop too. Uh, but it wasn't made of Rocksteady, so it's like, hey, we'll still keep still keep hope alive with this with this Rocksteady made game, the Suicide Squad game. But it's like it's still this still looks like kind of trash as well too. So uh, I don't know what happened with that studio, but it is definitely disappointing nonetheless. This state of play is kind of underwarming. Yeah, the game, state of play was trash. Ryan, this kind of game needs Game Plus or PS Plus. I'm not sure what direction they're going in. Battle Pass Store. This one waits and see for me. Yeah, this game needs only this game needs people to play together. And it's like, so it needs to be probably cross platform as well too. Oh, man, this, this I don't see this game. I think this game is gonna die off very soon, if not be dead on arrival. Very underwhelming for a Rock City game, to be honest. It doesn't even look like the game is made by those guys. It definitely doesn't. <laughs> it definitely doesn't. This is like some Fortnite game with a with a DC skin on it, to be honest. All we have left is a Sonic for superhero bangers. Like, I just don't know what's the fuck. They just focus on making great single player games like they did before in the past. Like, what is with this whole co op? You got to keep getting um, marketers action like accessories. It's like, I need to stop with that. Like, jeez. 
they are legit killing their brand right now because they they had a, a, a strong legacy to make amazing Batman games. Now it's just like went in a toilet at this point. This new game. Rockstar has earned my trust, and I believe they will deliver. I will be shocked at what we've seen. All this game has to offer. What the hell was this? Poor visuals, ridiculous air combat, very disappointed, and not what I was expecting after Batman. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting some heavy anthem vibes with the mid-air hovering and over-the-shoulder perspective. All characters look like they behave very same-ish. Like you said, everyone just shoot at the purple orb. I don't know. Yeah, I got bored of shooting purple spots just watching the trailer. That does not look like something I'll end up playing. Yeah. People, everybody's saying the same thing. It's hype for the game as well, but it's now it's just, hey, the game is just disappointed. Yeah, this is not it. No. At least we still got Capcom, though. At least we still got Capcom. I love you, the saviors for this year for good games because Rock City. This looks like a stinker from Rock City, to be honest. Uh, not inclusion of the Battle Pass Plus always online. Just not for a looter shooter live service. I want a Rock City Metrovania brawler, not that. I don't see any punching, just a whole bunch of shooting. Yeah, I'm I'm just I, I'm dead talking about this. The state of play and this game, Suicide Squad, Kill Just League was I guess they belong together because they both look like trash to me, so I just don't get it. <laughs> for one, Rocksteady takes a big L if this is their final product. And then Sony takes another big L for releasing this trash, this state of play event, like who okayed this nonsense? Like, who literally okayed to say, hey, we need to do a whole event about these games being shown? Like, really? You could have kept this. You could have kept this, Sony. You literally could have kept this at this point. But I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. If you have seen Sony State of Play event, how do you think about the showcase overall? And how do you think about mainly the main game they were showing with Suicide Squad Kill the Just League? How do you feel about that game as well? Let me know your thoughts down below. and uh, Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching. And peace.